Cancer, hi, welcome back to my channel, okay? Thank you for liking this video, all donations and subscriptions, okay? Thank you so much, Cancer, for um, tuning in to your monthly forecast to see what you need to know, what to expect, okay? What you need to hear for the month of May. Um, this is your first and last time seeing this video on this particular channel because I want to keep this channel about general messages, okay? And um, if you uh, wish to see your monthly forecast is going forward, you can subscribe or you can watch the uh, actual videos on my second channel and the link to that is in the description box all right let's let's tap in cancer okay let's see what you need to hear spirit thank you for clear communication and divine protection cancer what can cancer expect in the month of may we have the Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. With the Nine of Wands. So, someone who feels... Mm, hold on. I ain't gonna speak. Let me get some clarifying cards. Thank you so much. Yep, I was getting ready to say that, but I didn't. Mental clarity, too. Like, I did a little spirit. Be like, look, I put you here to talk for a reason. <laughs> you better talk. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, so Cancer, in the month of May, someone has been very, um, someone feels burdened, okay? Whether it be you or an external party. I'm getting the King of Wands with this Nine of Wands here. Could be a Capricorn or a Sagittarius, all right? Or a Taurus Virgo. It doesn't matter who it is, all right? Or it could be you. This could be your energy. None of your energy is on the table, Cancer. So I feel that this is someone external to you, but has something to do with you. All right. This King of Wands wants to come in. This person feels, I don't know why, but I'm sorry I have to say this. This person feels that you've burdened them or this person feels that it's a burden for trying to keep stability. Um, or they feel that maybe you're in competition or they're in competition. I'm not really for sure what's going on here, but there's some form of competition to where this King of Wands is now gaining the mental clarity. All right that cancer they could be in love for the ten of pentacles or you could be in love with the ten of pentacles okay this person feels that they have to provide some form of finances to you in order to win you over okay but there will be an equal give and take in the month of may though the six of pentacles being one of the first cards out it's like in order to balance the situation uh, yeah money will be given to you okay this person is reaping what they sow for their actions this person could have been doing something um like juggling two households or something like that or juggling their resources. Hell, they could have been juggling your money. All right? Kept you mentally entrapped about some form of investment. For some of you cancers, I'm hearing that you invested into something with someone because you love them. You're a loving person, cancer. All right? And this could have been someone that you were romantically linked to. Or this could be someone that you... This could be family. Because the Ten of Pentacles is family. Not just, you know, relationship. But this could be... Ooh, chat. Don't let me say that. I'm getting, I'm picking up some scandalous shit. Okay. I hope ain't nobody out here doing nothing with no incest. Okay, let me move on. Anyways, so, um, this King of Wands ultimately has gained mental clarity. You could be the King of Wands because you're passionate about life. You already had the mental clarity and it puts you in, so, in somewhat of a, in a depressive energy, right? Right. And I feel that when Taurus season is already here. So it's like you need to focus on your money, okay? And, and making sure that everyone in your immediate family or who you deem as family is taken care of, all right? It's like your cup runneth over with love. It's like you have so much love to give, Cancer, that it was breaking your heart that when you were giving, this person wasn't giving back. I'm hearing that this person, like I said, could have juggled the situation. And now this King of Wands is reaping what they sow. They could be trying to deflect and say, oh, well, you you spend all the money or you do this or you do that. Um, when in reality, they were a snake the entire time. This person has been... Um, I'm here energetically trying to play with your heart, play with your mental space. Ooh, child. Eight of Pentacles. So we got the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, which is the Eight of Pentacles right here. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles again. And damn, and on this deck, we got the Eight of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. So yeah, this could very much so either be with family, okay? 
or this is someone you're in a relationship with period it's either someone you're in a relationship with or it's family and for some of you all not others not not most of you all but for some of you all cancer just a, a small select few you could be dealing with somebody in your family and i don't know about that but um we moving forward okay so we have the eight of swords and the six of pentacles yeah thank you spirit yep you can't you can't say um your energy is finally coming out cancer okay the moon is the moon linked to cancer or pisces i need to look that up i had written it on the card i think it's pisces though um let's move forward though okay so we have the three of cups this is your energy the ace of wands with the ace of swords and the moon so this is beautiful me and the moon that's what i'm hearing so a king of wands is in his thoughts baby a king of wands i'm trying to tell you he's been working hard even if this king of wands he she is someone who's been juggling they have been working hard and, and not to say that they're juggling but they could have been splitting their finances up between two households say for instance this person had child support to pay or this person was paying for a relative's um house financing it, or you know just doing little shit like that paying for their their daughter or son to go to college who knows i'm not for sure exactly you know because i'm not speaking to you personally but at the same time it's like this person you know it's a secret there's some type of secret here there's some type of um secret that they've been feeling mentally bound and entrapped all right yeah this moon energy with this ace of swords so it's like this king of wands has gained some form of mental clarity yeah the ace of wands now if this is family family wants to spend time with you cancer so the advice for the month of may is to stay balanced within your family life okay and make sure you spend time with family family loves you and wants to hang out with you you could need to be stiff though on a virgo if you have a virgo that's in your family a virgo or a pisces all right you may need to you know scale back on their ass honey because um you there's some qualities in them that you have seen that are not going to help you get to where you want to be in your own reality all right so we got the three of cups with the six of pentacles and the eight of swords so it's like someone feels mentally entrapped that they have to give but it's like cancer you don't want to hear that shit you've been giving so you like pay up uh -uh, i feel you cancer you're oh for some of you all for low vibrational karmic cancers that are watching my video because i don't know who the fuck watching with this type of shit cancer the only one all day would have really come out a little finicky um not to say my divine feminine and masculine cancers not y'all but there's someone else here okay because cancer i'm picking up that you um may have trapped or or got with someone solely for money and then on top of that you were celebrating the whole time that this person felt mentally bound to give to you Ooh -wee. but i'm hearing that you feel that it's this person's karma for something that they did to you in the very beginning of your relationship you gotta let that shit go spirit has been very okay when i say spirit i mean your higher self has been very patient with you so for some of you all who needs to hear this right now, Spirit is saying, walk away from that shit. That's some devilish shit. Walk away. You, you can't be. Yeah, look at this. I cannot make this shit up. The five of wands. You cannot be in this combative energy or trying to one up somebody. And Spirit has been real patient. Didn't I say put an end to it? The Spirit said, wrap it on up now. Wrap it on up now. And if for some of you all, it's my divine cancers and masculines who are watching tarot and wanting to hear about this person be in a sad energy because they did something to you girl walk away from that guy walk away from that okay the ace of pentacles is yours with or without you wanting to feel this way but the divine has said if you continue to operate like this yeah you're gonna get the ace of pentacles but how long is it going to last how long is it going to last is it going to be for a season or is it going to be for a lifetime you depend it depends on you and how you respond i heard or no, no i didn't hear it i read a post that says what other people do to you is their karma but how you respond is yours and this is perfect for this reading how you respond is your karma so you think about that you know what i'm saying just think about that just a little side note just a little side note okay javon said put an end into it absolutely okay that's beautiful yeah yeah <clears throat> voice going out you could be in conflict with the gemini put it in into it spirit said no or a aquarius spirit said no or a leo or a sage no put an ending to the conflict walk away it is done 
There is nothing else that needs to be talked about or said. All right, we got the Nine of Swords and the Five of Swords. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, which breaks down to the five of swords again. So it's like, nah, you, you need to walk away from that energy if you're in that energy of wanting someone to endure something because you did. Nah, that's not, what? I ain't lying. That ain't what's up. Spirit, okay, let's go ahead and talk about it, Cancer. Your affirmation is, I forgive myself. Your affirmation for the entire month of May, okay? I forgive myself for self-sabotage and not listening to my intuition. So for some of you all, you could have, your spirit could have told you don't give 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 you're not gonna get it back 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 and then you're gonna feel some type of way 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 but you know you've been this love and compassionate cancer it's like you did it anyway you didn't listen and you sabotaged yourself in the process with either a love interest or a family member but spirit is letting you know that you can forgive yourself you can redeem yourself you don't have to be on this vengeful act Okay, you can release this shit and start on over because you got the Ace of Clarity, you got the Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. That's a lot of Aces in one reading, Cancer. It's like, it's really giving full energy, new beginning energy, all right? So it's like, you got to play your cards right and sit still. You got all of this Ace energy with the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. This is the most powerful reading I've done today. So Cancer, play your cards right. If you're in conflict, banish that conflict, okay? Walk away from it and, and um, hold yourself to a higher standard when it comes to what others do to you. And I understand we're human. We're going to get upset. We're going to want revenge. But for how long? Don't be hell bent on someone getting revenge when you have the opportunity to have a new beginning. All right. So, all right, Cancer, this is your reading. All right. I'll shake. And until next time, be well. Bye.